What's up YouTube, May Tutorials here. Today I'll be showing you how to clean up your contacts menu when you right click on a file. Um, as you know, if you install a lot of media players or extractors or just a lot of programs, it will start to clutter up your right click context menu and it can get very annoying. Uh, it's almost as tall as your screen. It's everywhere whenever you right click. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to clean that up and I'm also gonna show you how to clean up the new folder if you have a lot of stuff, a lot of programs like I do right here. You're going to need three different programs. Um, two of them are for just the right click menu and then one of them is for the new menu. The reason you need two is because if you have certain programs installed then you need a certain program for that and then for by default Windows ones such as share with or properties or customize this folder and stuff then you need that other program. So just go to the first link in the description. Uh, there will be this page, which should be Shell X View, and then you just scroll all the way down to the very bottom, and you can either choose in a zip file the download self-install executable for installing it with an uninstall support, and then if you have a 64-bit version of Windows, download the Shell X View for 64. Then um, you then the other link, the second link in the description, should be Shell Menu View, and then you want to scroll down to right uh, right above this ad under Feedback and choose Download Shell Menu View or Download Shell Menu View for Time 64. Then the last thing you'll need for the new one, uh, the new context menu thing. It will be the third link in the description and it will be a source forge and then you just gotta wait five seconds and it will download. And then after that's downloaded you don't even need to install any of these it's just an executable right there. So first up open up the sh shex view however you say it I don't know and then just uh, double click the .exe and click yes if there's a question asking to verify or whatever. It will load up uh, all your extension names all that sort of stuff. As you can see there is a lot there is a ton of them uh, so many different things for so many different sort of stuff uh, you can drag this away and um, it's just all this random stuff that you just never will use so the way to disable it let's say I don't want this uh, as you can see disable no you, you just click on it and you click uh, the red button it will disable it just click yes and then uh, if it's a grouped sort of thing, as you can see, it's grouped. Um, all of those are now disabled. Just scroll through. There's so many different types of things. Uh, if they're pink like this or whatever color that is, that means they're a group. And they there might be a folder. So just uh, look through, and you can disable all the ones that you don't need at all. And then you can just close that, and you don't need to save or anything. And then just go back and do the SHMN view. And open the .exe and click yes and there will be the same kind of thing just different options and then you can just start disabling each of them uh, one at a time or if you do control and select all of them then you should be able to disable all of them all at once okay so that's how you disable the normal right click menu right here so the way to disable stuff on the new is use the shell new handler at least it has a name and open up the .exe click yes and now when you open up then all you have to do is uncheck and it will uh, that's how you disable it and you can check stuff off if you want to open our dot uh, rs or photoshop stuff you can uncheck excel sort of stuff you can uncheck a lot of times if you have um, as you know stuff bloatware and a lot of stupid stuff will come with it. You can uncheck a lot of that sort of stuff. Now you might want to leave one or two things just so that the new thing will stay there because I've heard that if you uncheck everything it can get messed up. And then click OK or you can click apply and then OK. And then there you go. Your new stuff will be, uh, as you can see it got shorter. It was like about six things but now it's only three things and then these two other things. So that is how to disable a lot of stuff on your right click context menu and your new menu. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a, a thumbs up, follow me on Google+, thank you for watching, and if you want more tutorials, subscribe.